We have another question. Uh, I think this one is from a guy named Dan. Or, okay. <clears throat> Dan asks, I've been doing your easy strength for fat loss for about eight weeks now, and I'm loving it. Good. I didn't originally approach the program with the intention of losing weight, but more of a way to get the right amount of work done within my time constraints. Well, that's, that's great. With this program, I'm still able to build strength and improve my aerobic capacity without banging my head against the wall, like other workouts that shall not be named. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> unlike the shiny new toy issue that some others seem to have where they are constantly jumping from program to program, I almost feel like I can stick with programs well past the point of diminishing returns. Must be the Irish in me. You know, what's funny is that I mean, I snatched and clean and jerk three days a week and did front squats two days a week and jerks two days a week for seven years. So I'm, I'm with you, man. Um, that being said, my question is this. While easy strength for fat loss is still the program that I intend on staying with, at what point, if any, should I be put back on the shelf in order to incorporate other major movements like squatting? I know you often break up your training into seasons, but is that something you would recommend if the program is still checking off all the right boxes or stick to my usual, if it ain't broke, don't fix it method. So the answer is going to be a, a two thing. One, what you're doing is fine. I mean, if you're still making progress and uh, don't forget, you can, you can certainly do the squat in the warm up period. You can do the goblet squat in the warm up. You can do overhead squats. I do like me. I'm adding front squats to mine, even though I'm sure they're not going to work, but Hey, got to keep trying. Uh, yes, you can stick with the program. I think there's value to it. Or you can do something more like what what I kind of think you should do. I think you probably should only do two rounds of easy strength, uh, especially the 40-day one. So we're talking about um, that to be 80 workouts, which is, you know, I mean, that's that's well over half a year. I mean, that's, that's a lot. Uh, but then after that, just go do something else. And for you, Dan, it might be an idea just to do that extra stuff um, for maybe two to four weeks. So um, I like I have other programs like the transformation program or just use the workout generator, perhaps. Um, there's so many options. But I think I think if you plan a stop and well, here's another option. Don't work out. Uh, don't weight lift for two weeks. Uh, for two weeks, just get back into maybe some, uh, uh, your, your workout is just a long walk, maybe a, a long walk with, if there's a pull-up bar somewhere, uh, throw in a long walk and halfway through do a hang, or if there's a parkour, or uh, even if you just did uh, push-ups on a park bench, you're just some kind of walking calisthenic combination, that might be a really good idea for you. And again, just for two weeks just to kind of press the reset button on your body. So Dan, I hope that helps. That's a good question. <clears throat>